Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. We are about to make some beef jerky. I used to make jerky a long time ago. I used to make it quite often. Always loved it. I stopped making it. I made some when I was in Memphis. My son absolutely loved it and he will be addicted to making jerky too. But it is a little bit time consuming and it can be um, a little bit tedious if you don't have the right setup. So I am going to be trying something different today. I'm going to be stringing my beef on a skewer and just hanging this skewer inside the rack of my oven. I'll be able to put a lot of beef on a skewer. I'm hoping this works and they will be hanging so there will be no turning. They will dry nicely, I'm assuming. The main thing is when you're making jerky, it takes quite a while so you want to make a big batch, but if you have just a rack or a pan, you can't fit a lot of jerky that way because you don't want the jerky on top of each other, the beef on top of each other, because you need it to dry out. Somebody, and I cannot remember her name, she mentioned, oh, using curtain clips or something to hang the jerky, and that gave me an idea of just using a skewer. So let's just get started. Today, I'm going to actually be doing some dry uh, jerky for myself. Usually you marinate jerky. I will show you how to do that. We'll just pretend that I'm going through the actual steps. For sure that's the most popular and most delicious way to make beef jerky is by marinating it first. You can use one of a gazillion marinades that are out there. Anything you want. You can make your own marinade. I'm sure there are a gazillion recipes out there. For today's uh, demonstration, I'm just going to be using Worcestershire sauce, if that's how it's pronounced. My son used, I think it was something called Dale's. Well, I he didn't use it. I used it, but it's what he had in his refrigerator. He said, can you use this? I love this. It was delicious, but a little too sweet for me because I'm not doing sugar. I'll try to look it up and put an image here. Insert. I'm totally surprised that my local Sanford, Maine Walmart carries Dale's. I do not shop for marinades, so I've never looked for it. So I'm pretty sure it might be carried at your Walmart too. The top price is the online price and the bottom price is what you would pay in the store. Walmart finally got smart and are letting people know that it's cheaper if you go to the store. I will have a link to this for you down below in the description box in case you want to check it out. You can take a piece of beef, it can be a roast, it could be steaks. I wanted to use this, but I forgot to take it out of the freezer and it's still frozen. So uh, a steak is good. This kind of marbling is good, but no marbling is also good. If you do have a chunk of fat, you want to cut that off because that doesn't dry out. I'm going to see if I can find a knife that cuts. Oh, I don't want that side. Not sharp enough, but it's going to... Ah! I, I'm terrible. Terrible with knives. Okay, we absolutely will not be using this knife. We'll try this one. A little bit better. And then here, like this piece of fat can be cut out. I'm just going to cut that out like that. And the rest looks pretty good. So I'm just going to start by cutting some slices and I'm going to, I don't know, I could leave that like that. Now this is pretty thick. Ideally you want to have your butcher or you know wherever you shop ask them if they can slice the roast for you. I don't like to bother to ask for things like that so I just do it myself. I'm just going to continue and I'll be right back. I sliced this entire roast and again ideally you want it thinner than this but I eat this stuff so fast that I don't care if it's fully dried I mean I just I like it when it's um, a little bit of moisture inside so here's what you would do if you were going to marinate it I want to show you so you don't waste marinade you could put your marinade in a little bowl because it doesn't take much Take one of your pieces of beef and just wet it and then move that over into the container that it will sit in. And do another. And another. 
then you would just do that to all of them. You would end up with a stack of meat in some kind of a bowl. If you have just a little bit of marinade left, you know, you're more than welcome to pour it in there. But you don't have to because you don't want your jerky to be wet. We will be drying it with paper towels if you do the marinade way. You would cover this and you would put it in the refrigerator for three hours. Yes, you could leave it overnight, but from what I've read and what I've heard, it is better if you do it no longer than three hours because then the meat starts to break down. So I did one for one and a half hours at Derek's, and it was awesome. I also did one for three hours. It was equally as awesome. You definitely don't need to do more than three hours, and I'm actually thinking even an hour would be enough. So let's just pretend that... This has been marinating for three hours, and now I'm coming back with it. It won't be as wet because it will have absorbed into the meat. And you want to put some paper towels down, and you would just lay them down and absorb. Now you can see mine doesn't look like it's been marinated because it hasn't. Yours would end up, you know, being darker or whatever. It would absorb, and then you want to just get the wetness out. So at that point, you're going to try the skewer method, like me, and you're just going to, uh, I'm going to just kind of do it like at an angle. I'm just going to hang it on the skewer and push it down, likey so. I'll show you what it looks like in the oven. And I'm just going to make sure I have enough room between them. I think this is going to work out just great. As for the jerky for myself, I want something dry. I'm going to try just a little bit of salt on both sides and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Yikes. And that's it. And I'm going to put that on the skewer. So I'm just going to do that a whole bunch of times and I'll be right back. And here's what it looks like. I just dropped it between the slats. I could have gone this way, but uh, th my pieces are kind of wide. It just fit better this way. And the oven is at 175 degrees. And I'm just going to put it in the oven. I just put a pan with foil underneath in case there's any dripping. I'm shutting the door. And I'm setting it for four hours. And that's it. We'll check on it in a little bit. And in case you're wondering why there's only that much strung up, it's because I actually haven't eaten yet today and I'm hungry, so I'm going to cook the rest of the sliced beef. And I also just want to see if I'm going to like it. I, I like beef to taste like beef, so I actually should put a few on there with nothing on it. You know, it's so easy if you're not marinating, and I could totally like just do this every day if I wanted to. Turn the oven on 175 and let my jerky dry and I always have a nice jerky snack at night. But at least a couple times a week. Anyway, I'll just be back and we'll check on the jerky. This has been drying for one hour and it does shrink up and I do have drippage. I absolutely love that I have this hung up and it's, you know, drying around the edges. It's got three more hours to go, and if it's not completely dry, you can always turn the oven off after if you want and just leave it in there overnight, and it will dry out. So I'll just check it again later. And I forgot to mention one tip. You might think you don't want to open the door to let the heat out. It doesn't need a lot of heat. What it needs to do is to be dry. So one tip is you actually should go by every now and then and do this, open and shut, open and shut. Let the, some air get around there. Let some of the moisture out. And if you wanted, you know, it's surprising how much moisture that keeps. I actually am going to take that out. I'm going to wipe it. I'm just going to leave my foil there, but I'm going to take that liquid out so that moisture doesn't, you know, uh, continue to keep the meat moist. And we will check it again in about an hour. We are two hours in, and you can see I just wiped the pan, and there's no new drippings. And this is drying out nicely. I wonder if it's going to be totally stuck to the skewer. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll be able to rip it off. Absolutely love that I have this hanging method. Let's see here. Check these babies in the back. Like I said, this is thick. This piece here is really thick. 
the thick stuff that's not like fully dried, I'll just eat that first. You can keep it in the fridge, but dried beef, people I know are going to say to me, you can't save that because it's not cooked and that will kill you. That's what dried beef is. That's what beef jerky is. It's just dried beef and it dries and it will not kill you. So you're good to eat it. I keep it bagged and just on the counter somewhere. Or like I said, if you put it in the fridge, chances are it's going to bring the moisture back. So you can just put it in a bag or a jar or whatever and just keep it somewhere away from the dogs. We'll check it again in another hour. We are three hours in. No more dripping at all. And still very soft for me. The thinner ones like this, that's drying up really nice. Looks like little candy canes hanging. My kind of candy cane. So we will check one more time. And this is four hours and I'm completely done. That feels like leather to me. Again, you might have dried it in less time if you had thinner slices, but also remember that mine are dry. I did not marinate. So the marinating does make them wetter and it does probably take a full solid four hours. Let me bring these to the counter and we'll look at them up close. These, I did not add any seasoning at all. I just wanted to try them just beef. And I'm pretty sure these will slide off. Well, they're kind of stuck there, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll just rip them off. Pretty jerky. I'm just gonna let those cool. And, you know, depending on the cut of beef, you'll get different um, tenderness or whatever. Some will be chewier than others. This was a very cheap bottom round roast. I paid $3.99 per pound. The entire roast was $7.88, I believe, and I only used a tiny bit of it to make the jerky, but it does shrink down a lot. Now, I can't remember which four were marinated, okay, or three. It looks like it might have been these three, and they weren't marinated. I should say just, you know, the ones that I was showing you because I don't see any salt or cayenne on those. And uh, again, they won't be flavorful because I didn't let them soak. And then here are the ones with just a little bit of salt and cayenne. And again, I'm probably going to be good with just plain beef. So let's say for the heck of it, I don't know if I used a third of that roast. You know, we're looking at maybe $2.50 worth of meat right here. And that's a lot of jerky. You don't get that much jerky if you buy the little bags. Not for that price. And that's it! I'm going to actually take a bite. You gotta dye my hair. This is good. Um, it's not like really flavorful, but I like the flavor of beef. I always have. I don't season my meat. And, uh, mmm. Mmm, mmm. See, I like the thick ones like this. This is perfect for me. This looks more leathery. Oh, not bad. Good shit, man. So, do try experimenting with jerky. I think you will like it. Let me finish. I've determined that I really like the one with a little bit of salt and cayenne. I'm not going to need marinade. And if you don't marinate, that cuts out a lot of time. So I really like this, but that, oh, that, just that tiny little kick of cayenne with the salt. Excellent. You're going to have fun experimenting with all different kinds of marinades or dry rubs. Again, you want to even save another step, go to a store that will slice the meat for you. I asked in Memphis if the guy would slice the meat, and he acted like he didn't even know what I was talking about. And I was like... If I buy the roast, will you slice it? And I didn't go get a roast, like, out of the refrigerated. I was pointing at a roast in the meat thingy. Like, if I buy that roast right there, would you slice it for me? Huh? Would you slice it for me? And he just stares at me. I'm like, do you have a meat slicer back there? Yeah. Would you slice it for me? I want to make some beef jerky. Would you slice the roast? 
Well, I guess I can slice it. And I said, well, you don't seem to want to, so just never mind. I mean, I was just so fed up, and that's why. That's why I don't ask for things, because that's how it always plays out for me. So I cut my own fucking beef. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Please give it a try. Let me know if you like it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.